Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So for those of you who are new, my name is Christiane, otherwise known here as I Heart Airbrush, and today we are diving into some swatches. It is the long-awaited swatch video, which is going to be the first of many, okay? It's been a task, but your girl has completed a good... Your girl has completed a good amount, and I am excited to go ahead and share with you guys swatches of the shades that I have in my collection. So, as you saw from the title, today's video is going to be all about the Dynair Matte Shades. So if you are interested in seeing some swatches and knowing how these shades work, how they perform, and all that good stuff, then please keep on watching. So the long-awaited swatch video has finally come to life and I'm so excited and so happy to share this with you guys It has been very highly requested um, To go ahead and just do videos dedicated to swatches I do include swatches in all of my tutorials so that you can go ahead and see the colors um, That I am using on the lids and I do have swatches on my Instagram page If you're not following me there definitely go ahead and follow me there But I do post a lot of swatches there as well So this video is going to be fully dedicated to just the swatches I want to go ahead and go over how they perform as well so you're gonna see me actually spraying them on and all that good stuff so I will have a little bit of commentary not too much but we want to keep this quick easy and simple but before we cut over to the swatches and this video I want to go ahead and remind you to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it if you found it helpful or entertaining at all sharing the video helps me out a ton as well so if you do have a platform please go ahead and share this video for me also remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and if you are subscribed or if you choose to subscribe today don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button and turn on your notifications that way you get the quickest updates anytime I upload a video all right loves let's get on to the swatches now yeah because that's what we're here for <laughs> All right, swatch time. So as you can see, I laid down a strip of white here. Here I use Dynair Glamour White, and this is so you can get the true color of each of the shades as well as against my skin tone. So the first shade I'm going to swatch is Spicy Mustard. I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down like so. Now with these shades, you want to make sure to stay light on your lever. Keep your distance as well, and make sure you are drying in between layers. You are going to get the most color payoff with these shades if you make sure to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a few layers just to make sure that everything's nice and opaque so you can get a, a clear view or a clear image of the shade here on camera, okay? So that's when you're going to see me going back and forth, layering. Sometimes I'm going to refill the cup and your girl's going to dry in between, okay, to make sure that you're getting the most accurate visual of each shade. <laughs> okay, and then the next shade we're going to go ahead and swatch is Salmon here. This is one of my favorites, not only for shadow, but also for blush. So if you have this shade and you haven't tried it as a blush shade yet, definitely try it out. It'd make the perfect blush shade for spring. So I'm just doing this in the same fashion, layering it up and drying in between layers like so. As you can see, I am keeping my distance and I'm very light on my lever as I'm distributing product. All right, and this is the final look of Salmon. All right, so the next shade we're gonna go into is called Taro. I'm just gonna lay this down in the same fashion. I'm gonna start off really light and then build up in layers. So like I said before with these shades, you wanna make sure to maintain your distance and then stay light on your lever, as well as drying in between layers. That's gonna give you the best color payoff, and it's also going to make your application with these shades very seamless. So as you can see, I am going to go ahead and follow in that same example. And then I am going to fast forward certain parts of me just drying the shade and then um, kind of cut to the regular speed as I'm applying it. So that way you can see how the color builds, but we don't spend too much time in the drying process. So you're going to see that throughout the next few shades, I believe. Um, but yeah, don't be alarmed. I'm not fast forwarding over the actual application of the shades, just the drying portion. So as you can see, this shade laid down a little bit darker and then once it's dried, it does dry down to a light, more 
purpley pastel-y kind of shade. So there you have it. All right, so the next shade we're gonna go in with is called Sangria. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down in the same fashion. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to work on building up this shade. As you can see, it's building up pretty nicely. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to add layers and then dry in between so that it's nice and opaque so you can see the true color here on camera. All right, and here she is, Sangria. All right, so the next shade we're gonna swatch here is called Blueberry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this down in the same fashion as the rest, of course. Okay, and here we have it all nice and opaque. All right, so now we're off to the next shade, which is called Wasabi. And of course, same old, same old. We're just gonna build it up in the same fashion as the rest of the shades. So to get the most color payoff with this uh, specific shade, you wanna make sure to stay very light on your lever and then also keep your distance. That's gonna give you the most color payoff fastest. And then you just wanna make sure that you are drying in between layers. So anytime you start to see a little bit of shine, just go ahead and dry it with the air from the airbrush and you should be good to go. It should build for you. Now I am such a sucker for green shades, so I'm like automatically drawn to green. And once the shade is built up, it is a really beautiful hue. Um, so definitely go ahead and take your time with it and work with it. Promise you it'll be worth it in the end. I have used this shade as a base for other shadows and then I've also used it on its own as well in a few of my tutorials. Okay, so now that it's pretty dry, you can go ahead and see, like this is a very nice forest green hue. So that was Wasabi. And now we're off to the final shade, which is Eggplant. And I know you can't really see my airbrush <laughs> because it's out of the frame, but you can see the color appearing on my arm. I'm just gonna go ahead and build this color in the same fashion. So you're gonna see me lay down some of the pigment and then go ahead and dry it in between layers. So this is another one of the shades that kind of, uh, when it's applied, it's a little bit darker. And then when it dries down, it's a little bit lighter than when it's first applied. So definitely keep that in mind and then make sure that you are building the shade up. So as you can see, the shade is building up pretty nicely. And then like right here is an example of when it goes on, it's a lot darker. And then when it dries down, it dries down to like a muted, like a deeper purple. Still pretty, very nice. Just gotta go ahead and build it up. I just wanna make you aware that, you know, when, you, when it does dry down, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. Okay, 
and there you have it there's eggplant this is the final visual of the swatch here and then i'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a close-up so you can see them up close how they dry down and all that good stuff a lot of really beautiful hues in this collection and then we have the swatches with the name listed underneath. And then, of course, we have the swatches with the names as well as the bottle. So you can go ahead and see the shade from the swatch to the bottle. All right. And that is about it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Sharing helps me out a ton. So if you have a platform to do so, please go ahead and share this video for me. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And if you are or if you choose to subscribe today, don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you get the quickest updates anytime I upload a video. All right, love. So that is about it. We're not going to ramble today. We're just going to go. Thank you so much again for watching and I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Well, you know, I hope to see you all in my next one. <laughs> Bye!